Hello my friends. What I'm going to do here is change this amp meter out on my tractor and replace it with a voltmeter. So I purchased a voltmeter and the first thing we have to do is remove the amp meter. And in this case it's not even wired in. Just sitting in that spot. Okay. Now, we place the voltmeter in its spot, and this is a standard 2-inch meter. The meter will be held in from behind with this clip that will hold it in its location. Okay, the reason we're changing this out, amp meter doesn't give you an indicator of what the battery condition is, and the voltage will. Uh, the only thing that the amp meter does is show you whether it's charging or discharging the battery and the voltmeter will give you a voltage state or condition of the battery fully charged it will read between 13 and 14.2 volts now we need to locate where we're going to connect our meter to we want want to connect to the battery however we want to have it keyed right here the key is off and that side of the solenoid is energized. Okay, now when we turn the ignition switch on, the ignition switch on this tractor, it's been modified right here. Right there the switch is on. So we want to test and see where we have voltage. And on this side, with the switch on, it's reading 13 volts. Switch off, no voltage. This is the perfect spot to connect the voltmeter. Let me explain what we needed to do with making this conversion. Now, with the amp meter, you can't just take that out and put your voltmeter in and connect the two wires to it that will not function. The amp meter has a very low <coughs> internal resistance. The voltmeter has a very high internal resistance. So whatever uh, charging system that you have going on with, and the amp meter is in that circuit, it will not function properly. So when you remove the amp meter, what you want to do is take those two terminals and connect them together. So we remove the amp meter from the circuit. Okay, now we plop the voltmeter into the vacant hole in the dash, and the voltmeter reads by going directly across the battery terminals. So we don't want to be reading the voltage all the time. That will drain your battery uh, very slowly over time if it's sitting there in the off position. You need to hook up your positive terminal onto the far side of your ignition switch and I did that by testing that terminal with my voltmeter with my portable voltmeter and the other side of the voltmeter the wire goes directly to the chassis ground so by doing that that chassis ground is making a connection directly across so if we simplify the drawing and the alternator will take that out of the circuit and when the switch is closed the voltmeter is reading directly across the battery now if you would by chance put an amp meter across the battery it will blow that amp meter out instantly so an amp meter has low internal resistance. If you connected it directly without, without uh, a load being in there, it will blow it out. Well, let's finish hooking it up. Here we made our splice, and I have it color-coded red for the plus, and the green was the ground, and we connected the ground to a bolt on the chassis. 
so it's making an electrical connection. Ignition on. There we have it. Reading the battery voltage. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.